So last night, I could not sleep. Just of the thought of how day zero went, something wasn't right with me. I, I personally, I don't think I did a good enough job making relationships and alliances. You know, I feel like people are already having their clicks already. And I feel like I'm kind of out of the loop. I think I'm taking my strategy. I'm doing too less. That's not even a word. I'm doing too little. That's the word. I need to be doing more. I need to be solidifying more relationships. I need to be, you know, I got to start playing this game. People are already, you know, I feel like they're already making genuine connections. And I can't relate to these people, like I said yesterday. So I honestly, I just got to suck it up. I got to pretend I know what they're talking about. Be like, oh, remember in World War II when, uh, you know, I got to relate to their times. You know what I mean? So I got to just be personable and hopefully, as the new day approaches, I can, you know, actually find someone I can trust and spill the tea with. Because I need my tea buddy, you know what I mean? I need someone that I could, you know, my ride or die, you know? So, and I haven't found that yet. So, hopefully, uh, we win this challenge because I'm telling you right now, we may be screwed if I don't win. So, we just have to see how it goes. All right, so I go into the call and we're preparing for the challenge, right? And first of all, I'm asking for advice. And, you know, uh, freaking Carl keeps saying, do whatever you want. No, I want to, I want you guys to tell me how you're doing it. You know, you guys seem to be getting the hang of it. My freaking ball keeps hitting me in the face. It keeps going like that. And like, I want to hear what they have to say. So, you know, I'm practicing, right? And we have to determine an order. So I'm like, okay, we should probably decide what the order is. And then they said, yeah, we'll do whatever. What do you mean, do whatever? This, I feel like no one wants to make the initiative and no one wants to make the move. Everyone is too scared to actually start playing this game. So I, I really just want to say, we need to freaking choose a number. We can't let it just be random. And then they said, we'll do alphabetical order. Great. So I'm first. The person who wants your advice on how to do stuff. You know, and, you know, they're not really supplying me anything. So, great. I'm going to set the example for the team. And I'm going to make a bozo out of myself. So, look. I just got to win this. I got to... I just can't get zero. I, I don't have to be the best, but I don't have to be the worst. All right? I just got to be in the middle. Because whoever does the worst, that's an easy target. So, hopefully, I do good in this challenge. I'm just praying to the lords that uh, I at least get one. I just want to get at least one. And let's hopefully pull off this W. So cut. This is uh, my uh, confessional when it's actually during the challenge. Alright, so they call my name first. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I got to get my crap together. I got my perfect rubber band. Alright, and they call me Katniss Everdeen. Alright, I do little push-ups. I warm up. I show them who's boss. Everyone's saying Team Janet. And I'm like, shut your bubblegum dum-dum. I'm trying to focus. But whatever, uh, yay, Team Spirit, you know, get the freak out of here with all that positivity. We came into play. So, you know, I'm like this, you know, I'm like that. <sighs> oh, you're good, did it? I'm like, shut up. So, yeah, I go like that. I miss, but, you know, honestly, and then I, I, I hit it. So, look, I got two cups. Hey, two is better than zero. So, I'll take it. So, hopefully someone does worse than me because then I'm going to be pleading for my life. Cut. This is when uh, the challenge is over. Let's go! That, that was that baby boy. We got that W. Let's go. Okay. I am so glad that we actually finally freaking won. You know? Because we got we to gotta keep that momentum going. I think Carl definitely came in clutch. He 100% did. Definitely. And I think that, you know, he's going to be a challenge threat but i don't have to worry about that now we can take the night off we don't have to worry about nothing let them you know to, uh you know draw blood and whatever so honestly i'm just really happy that we won and uh now we just have to see what happens at camp because to, to be frank i don't know just because we won doesn't mean there's not gonna be no tea being spilled honey so just gotta see what happens cut now this is my confessional to, uh, uh, tr uh, like, uh, when I, when I'm at, uh, camp and stuff like that, and, um, it's my, yeah, when I'm at camp, and, like, uh, everyone's talking, making genuine connections, yada, 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 so this is, like, my main confessional, 
Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, so, here's the thing. A and I said this, but I I'm going to keep repeating myself because, quite frankly, I'm going to keep saying it until something changes. People are too scared to freaking do something. I know. I know people want to start playing this game. I know that they want to start, you know, they want to start making gen alliances. They want to start freaking plotting and, you know, scheduling who wants to get out first and stuff. But people don't want to make the first move. And I'm too scared to make the first move either. I'm not putting a target on my back by, you know, leaving the call. So it's just, it's people, like, no one is taking, you know, everyone is just trying to play it safe. And I commend them for that. But quite frankly, we, if we were to lose, I don't want people scrambling and panicking. I want to have a set plan, a set idea in place. So when we do go to go to a crossroads, we actually have a genuine idea. So, like, come on. Let's freaking start talking and stop talking about your personal issues. This ain't therapy. No Dr. Phil. All right, cut. So now this is uh, my confessional to uh, when... Um, freak. What was I going to say? This is my confession oh, to everyone, like, breaking down to calls and my my final thoughts on the house guests. So, I'm separ I'm trying to separate into calls, right? I'm trying to, you know, separate and uh, try to get a mixture of things. But these things are freaking getting, uh, like, locked. Like, everyone, it's getting crowded in one spot, so I can't even go in and talk. And you have already clicks going, don't you? Bruh. I don't even recognize the names because to me they're irrelevant. But they're already clicking and I'm out of the loop. But I do got my girl Katie. My girl Katie and me, we're going all the way. Me and her, we're going to get married after this. It's going to be this whole thing, alright? We're going to have a celebration. It's going to be crazy. Like, me and her, we're going all the end. I found my ride or die. I think she is super sweet and nice. Like... I talked to her previous, before the game even started. I didn't even know she was going to be casted. But, look, the online expedition gods brought us together, all right? So, we are sticking together. And I am so happy that she brought up, uh, like, who we should, like, target first. And she mentioned Carl. I was like, that is my girl. See, that's how you, we got to start playing. We get, like, you know, if, so, I'm so, so happy that she finally brought, brought it up. I'm just so thankful. But. But I'm try I need to expand, you know, away from her because I know me and Katie, we're on the outskirts. We, if we lose, it's going to be me or her. So I'm, I'm trying to get in to more people. So I'm trying to convince others, but they're giving me the same answer. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really, we didn't have, make any alliances. You know, we're not in a team. Shut, bruh. You think I'm stupid? You, you know, you guys are spending Freaking, like, 45 minutes in one call and not separating. Am I not supposed to be suspicious? Bruh, don't even play with me. See, that's the thing. They, they, look, that's, I'm trying to act this way. I'm trying to act dumb. But, uh, yet I ain't dumb. Uh-uh. So, look, honestly, no one wants to, no one wants to talk to me. I don't know if it's because of my age. I don't know if it's because I'm hot, right? I don't know if they're just jealous of my looks, but... Look, I, I, day two, first of all, we have to win the challenge for tomorrow, and I need to actually, you know, start breaking the ice, you know, no more playing it safe, and be straight up and say, yo, let's freaking play. <sighs> See you, day, <sighs> See you on day two. Okay, so, um, in conclusion, that was really rough. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, you know, I'm not shocked that my name was called um, because I had a feeling Jess was going to put my name down, um, which is only fair. I mean, I did put her name down, but I don't know. Like, I thought, like, we were getting along well, so I was hoping she would pick someone else. But it was so awkward being at base camp with her alone, and she was asking me whose name is being thrown around, and I, like, had to lie and you know what? I am a terrible liar. So like there, she, she knew what was up immediately. Um, I don't know that, that was rough. And now I feel like I talked, talked myself into a hole because I said I was good at puzzles, but to be honest, like 
I haven't done a slide puzzle in years and apparently that's a thing. So now I have to go practice slide puzzles so I don't let my team down. Um, honestly, numbers are more my thing, number puzzles, but we'll see how that goes. I am super nervous because if I disappoint my team, uh, I'm going to be out for sure. Cause I talked myself and like, oh, I like puzzles. And now I talk myself into like, oh, I'm the smart kid at Hopkins. Like <laughs> I'm not <laughs> like, I'm not the smart kid. Um, I just happened to go there. So that is going to be uh, a challenge. I'm just really hoping our team pulls through tomorrow so we don't have to go to Crossroads. Um, we will see, I guess. So day one is done and your boy's still here. So that's a good thing. Um, not the greatest day tribe-wise. Uh, we got the info on the challenge and it was some sort of bizarre medieval um, make a slingshot out of two forks and a rubber band and shoot ping pong balls at a tower of cups. Uh, when we all got on, we all practiced, we all gave each other tips. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but a majority of us sucked. Um, just could not figure how to get the ball to move straight. Um, which, you know, straight is not a thing in my life. So, we get to the challenge and we take an early lead. Cupini just, like, slays it. And I think it was Bridget or Mariana who also slayed it. And then we went uh, five goose eggs, uh, including myself. Uh, Philip knocked down a couple, uh, but five of us were just unable to score. And after starting out with an early lead, we kind of got slaughtered. Um, I, was, I wound up ninth, which made me very afraid, except for the fact that by the time it got to me, we had a pretty much insurmountable uh, deficit, so that was good. <laughs> but we lost. We all go back to camp. Uh, there is that sort of initial everybody stays in base camp because no one wants to be the first to move, blada, blada, blada. Finally, we got people to move around. Um, I hooked up with, I wound up with Neil and Troy and I believe Philip initially. Um, and Philip pushed really hard for it just from the beginning, excuse being or reason being, um, that Jess had been talking about how she had just moved to Virginia Beach and was still living out of boxes, etc., 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 which is a perfectly valid thing to talk about but not necessarily something you want to say after your tribe is lost in immunity challenge um, so off we go um, you know that spread pretty, pretty quickly and I tried to put out another name uh, but that was the the, um, the the boulder was already rolling um, I know Jess. Uh, I modded her in a couple of other games. Love her to death. Um, and I tried to at least try to get a chance to talk to her. Could not. Uh, she, at first when she was in smaller rooms, I could never get in. And then about halfway through, she went back to the base camp and never left which you can't really plot and connive there because there's always other people in the room or always someone that can pop it. So I was frustrated by that and then I tried to drop her a hint that uh, she was in danger. Um, I actually used the term shot in the dark uh, within the base camp chat with about six other people looking there. I may or may not have gotten a strange look. But um, we came to the vote. Uh, you know, 
the discussion was people talking a lot and saying nothing. Uh, a vote turned out to be unanimous for Jess, unfortunately. And she didn't use her, uh, her die. Um, she didn't take, uh, she didn't attempt to gamble for um, immunity. So I was surprised by that, sad by about that, um, but Jess left us last night, or um, Jess left us after uh, Crossroads. Um, I gotta go back and see if I said try to kill. Okay, so day one was actually pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we lost the challenge, obviously. We went to Crossroads, which wasn't fun. Um, this was my first time competing in a challenge like this. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I think my team, we have a really good bond with each other, and so we were able to just, like, keep each other's spirits high, even though we were going to Crossroads. Um, so, yeah, Crossroads was difficult, I didn't like being there, and so I'm hoping that during the next challenge we can win so we don't have to go back. But still feeling really good, and I'm really happy with my teammates, and I really like the vibe that I'm getting from all of them. What's up, y'all? And welcome to another edition of Carl's Confessionals. Y'all notice I got the crown on, right? That's because we had our first immunity challenge. And Team Janet... Won and won pretty handily. Apparently, we can shoot a ping pong ball out of a makeshift slingshot pretty good. And we avoided crossroads tonight. I don't really know who they might have sent home. Uh, wondering if the guys stuck together and took out a girl or if the girls worked their way in with the guys and they took out a guy. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. More importantly, you know, it's all kumbaya back at the camp. And uh, personally, I didn't sign up to play this game to be kumbaya. I signed up to play a game somewhat like Survivor. And that's what I'm going to do. So, you know, I hopped into that room, to this room. I talked to Joshua. I talked to Mike. I talked to Katie. I talked to Danielle. I talked to Olivia. I talked to Anthony. Uh... I don't know if I'm missing anybody, but I pretty much talked to everybody. Uh, yeah, I feel like I got a good vibe from everybody. Everybody kind of likes me. Uh, and what what isn't there to like about me? You know, uh, I'm basically this team leader. I feel like, uh, like I said, I feel like I'm in a good spot. I kind of feel like if we do go to crossroads, uh, it won't be me, but. You never know. But uh, I did show out in that challenge today. And uh, all that. King Carl. Soon to be king of expedition. Okay, so day one is over. And... Um Team Janet crushed it. Uh, honestly, I was so nervous. I did not have enough time to practice. And I got zero cups knocked down, which is um, a rare thing for me because usually I am an asset in challenges. I find I do um, usually have something to contribute. Um, so that's a di little bit disappointing for myself. Um, but you know what? That My team is super supportive. I really love everyone on my team. Um, they all have their, their something about them that I really love. So I'm super excited for Team Janet. Um, I really hope we don't lose and have to get rid of anyone anytime soon. Um, if we do at this point, I think it might come down to maybe Anthony, um, which sucks. Um, it's such a hard thing to navigate at this point. Um, who to get rid of, um, where the relationships are lying. I got to talk to Joshua tonight um, first, and he is such a cool dude. Oh, my goodness. Like, Joshua, make Survivor memorabilia. And 
like go and check out his Etsy page, people. It's amazing. This guy is creative. He's talented and he is super cool to talk to. Um, I really um, would like to continue working in this game with him for a while. Um, then I originally was put in a room, uh, I went into a room with Olivia and Mike on day one. And I wanted to maintain that. I knew that they were going to want to stay working together. So I had to make sure that I put myself in that, especially since Bambi got put onto the track. I'm like, yeah, like us three and Bambi, you know, it's too bad Bambi got put on the other tribe. I wasn't even in that room with them very long, but I needed to milk that the best that I could. Um, and I think Mike really bit on, and then I got a chance to talk to Olivia at the end. Um, and then we also had created a five person majority within the nine, and that included, um, uh, so it would be me, Nick, Olivia, Mike and and Haley. Um, I talked to Haley. She seemed super cool. Also notified me of there being 10 males and 8 females in the game, which I was not paying attention to or aware of. And um, that's definitely a problem for me. Um, some guys definitely have to go next. Um, that's without a doubt. I do not want to evict a female or sorry vote out a female um at crossroads so ultimately um anthony which sucks because he is a quirky little fun dude and kind of chaotic um but anthony probably has to go next because i really love all the other guys i don't want to cut any of them loose at this point i think fucking carl is a beauty i'm hoping that he's not worried about our relationship right now because i didn't talk one-on-one -on -one with him um, I figure um, tomorrow I'll have more time and I'll be able to talk to him and really establish something. He's got a tattoo of my name on his stomach. He's feeling that connection. But I also had to pull away from that and make sure that people didn't see us as somebody that was going to be a duo right away. And I do need to talk to him and let him know that he needs to keep that under wraps more so that we can work together and last longer in this game. Luckily, a lot of other people I've been talking to want to work with him further um, and not get him out right away. So that's really good because I want to see him stay in this game. Um... Katie, what a trip she is. Katie is a living, she is making me live. Like, oh my gosh, that woman, I cannot get rid of her. I also need to have another chat. I need to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with her. I feel like once I have a chat with her and Carl, it wasn't really as necessary tonight because I did also talk to them yesterday, but I feel like there are people that want to work with me probably and that it will be okay. I think that will really connect really well, so I wasn't too focused on that, and I hope that wasn't a mistake. Um, I don't want to make the same mistake um, I did in my last season with Trent, so I just really hope that um, I do the right thing here. I'm um living living for my team like it's amazing and Janet gave some super amazing advice everyone worked together really well and I just really hope that we can pull out the win again tomorrow and have more time to connect and build some stronger relationships and um really see where this goes moving forward so I'm excited and I'm so um, happy to be in Expedition Online again. And I, yeah, that's it for now. Day two of Expedition Online. Uh, I had to go out uh, and scavenge for some supplies. I had to get a ping pong ball, forks, uh, rubber band, uh, some solo cups, and we had to... Uh, make a slingshot with a rubber band and two forks and try and launch the ping pong ball six feet into a tower of solo cups. Um, wow, that was, as someone that prides being pretty good at stuff, uh, that was really hard. And I was not very good at that. And uh, I was practicing and I was like, oh no, if I... If I put up a goose egg for my team, especially if I'm the only one that puts up a goose egg for my team, uh, this could this could not go well. Uh, but yeah, fortunately, I did okay. I got four cups down. Our team won by a good like ten cups or so, 
and we avoided uh, the first crossroads, which was huge. And so we were able to just spend that time just going back to base camp and getting to know each other. And people were pretty hesitant initially to split out into different rooms. I don't think anyone wanted to be the first one to be trying to make small little deals. And, you know, I plan on playing a pretty aggressive game later, but I don't want to seem super aggressive early on. And you, you don't want to be the first person to be seen uh, just like wheeling and dealing. And my goal early on was to always be in the biggest room. Um, because I never wanted to be in a small room and for there to be five people and be like, yeah, this five. Yeah. Should we just make it this five and just stick together? Yeah. 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 Don't, don't, don't want that. So, um, but finally people started asking for one-on-one -on -one conversations or three conversations. And once you could see, it's like, oh, there's a bunch of different little groups of three. Then people started feeling a little more comfortable doing that. And it is a lot different having a one-on-one -on -one or, 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 you know, a three-person conversation because you can you can really just talk in the nitty-gritty and really talk about, like, who are you getting along with? Like, what, what do we think? I think the best one-on-one -on -one conversation I had was with Mike. Uh, I think he and I have s think about things similar ways. Uh, we're both uh, board gamers, and I think he's he's the type of person I could see myself aligning with uh, long-term especially once I get a better read on him on, in terms of what type of game he's he's looking to play. Because I'm looking to play a pretty little game for a while and uh, then really start getting a little more ruthless once it gets down to the nitty gritty. So uh, Mike, Mike seemed like a, a really good guy. And our tribe is so interesting because we have Katie and Carl who are big personalities and are always talking, always telling stories. But then we also have people like Haley and Olivia that are just a bit more introverted, just a bit quieter. And, you know, you, you definitely kind of get a bit more from them when you're in more in, in smaller groups. Um, so, yeah, there's a pretty wide range of personalities uh, with that. So it's been interesting getting to know with people. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, but I, I get good vibes from Haley. I get good vibes from Mike. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I feel like there's still just a lot of people I, I don't I don't know super well. So I'm looking to looking to get to know Joshua better. I, I like what I know about Joshua, um, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some people that I I would like to get to know more, and hopefully, uh, when a majority is formed, I'm gonna be have enough. Uh, my hands in enough places that I'll be part of it. Um, if I had to uh, say who I think on the outs of our tribe right now, I would I would uh, maybe say Katie and Anthony are probably the two that are closest to being on the outs right now. Uh, Katie, just because she, she doesn't really seem to know the game at all. Uh, she just seems to be here to kind of like hang out. But she's also a poker player. So who knows? Is this a strategy? I don't know. But from what I'm uh, from what I'm seeing, I, I really don't think she knows the game. Um, but um, she, she talks a lot and tells a lot of stories. So it might be hard to have an alliance with her because um, with the time constraints, uh, she, she might uh, fill up conversation with things when we need to make decisions and strategize and work together. So she could be a loyal number, but I, I don't think we can really count on her on the strategizing of, of the game because she doesn't really know it. Uh, and Anthony, um, he's calmed down a bit, but he is all over the place. I had the third conversation with him tonight where he told me that Carl tried to form an alliance with him. Uh, like, and he's just, I want to be honest with you. Carl tried to form an alliance with me. And it's like, yeah, yeah, you told me that. But it's also like, why is that a bad thing? Like, why are you, why are you ratting out Carl for trying to form an alliance with you? If I try and form an alliance with you, are you going to start telling everyone else that David tried to form an alliance with you? Like, uh, how are you deciding who, <laughs> who you're actually working with and who you're actually just going to like, you know, throw under the bus because I don't want you to, you know, do me like you're doing Carl. So Anthony, um, some questionable strategy off the bat, but uh, not too late for you yet, buddy.
uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's a place for you down the road. Uh, but yeah, overall, great to win the first challenge. Uh, great to, you know, have some team camaraderie. Hopefully we won't have to go crossroads for a while, but uh, if we do end up going to crossroads, I feel pretty comfortable. Um, the only other thing that to really discuss is the fact that who knows what kind of advantages are floating out there so early. We had to do um, a little team challenge where for five minutes, people had to go into these smaller two person rooms and people volunteered and, you know, who knows what happened in those rooms? You know, maybe advantages were given, you know, they, they were different tasks that were assigned and that could be the first um, types of clues or to advantages that might be floated out there because I'm sure that there's something already, but I have not seen a thing. So we will see where that goes. Okay, it's day one and we won. And I, oh, I'm so excited because the last thing I wanted in this whole experience was to be the first one voted out. And now that we have made it past that point, it definitely cannot happen. I feel so good. Okay, so it was very nice to go back to our base camp after our, um, after our challenge and just get a chance to talk to each other without the pressure of um, having crossroads. Um, Cause I think that would have been a very different game that we were coming back to if we had lost the challenge. Um, but we were all together in our base camp for a while. Um, and we started to be encouraged to jump around. And I got to talk to lots of different people tonight, but it seems like where we're headed is maybe a five person alliance with me, Danielle, Mike, David, and Olivia, which I do like a lot. That's pretty similar to what I said I thought it might be like last night, except I had Joshua instead of Danielle. Um, I am a little worried about her because she seems really ready to play um, and might be coming on a little bit strong to me. But for right now, I am so good with a five person alliance. Um, hopefully we keep winning and we don't have to worry about crossroads for a while, but having a five and a nine at this point, I'll take it. Hey everyone, it's Jess over here from Expedition Online season three. And dun, dun, dun. everybody voted me out. Like everybody in my party voted me out. So, yikes, that's not good. But, uh, unbeknownst to them, your girl Jess made it to Seclusion Island. So, I have a chance at redemption. Mm-hmm, that's right. I'm going to fight like hell to win my way back into the game. And show those people what they're missing out on. Because I'm a bunch of fun. And they're going to miss out on a bunch of fun. Wah. But, yeah. I'm going to get my butt back in the game, and we're going to go from there. Hashtag Team Jess. This is Expedition Online Season 3. We had an excellent day two on Expedition Online. We got to the challenge, and oh, was it so fun. We got to use homemade slingshots, which I never would have thought in a million years I'd be doing that. But that was fun, creative, and I really enjoyed it. We won the challenge, so we were able to have a little downtime afterwards, and it was really nice getting to talk to people. And, you know, there are some people who are really kind of pushing, let's let's get some some non-main chat calls. Let's, let's start talking. Let's start strategizing. And I think that tells a lot when somebody feels like they need to strategize so early on. I love strategy. I love getting to know people and, and having to get a plan set. And I, I love strategy, but it's not necessarily the best game plan for the beginning you know you want to have something set up but you don't want to be the guy who's saying let's all switch calls let's get into something else and uh i don't think it really came off too great but that's okay i got to meet some great people tonight uh, i was able to talk with carl just about everybody but uh, i want to say mike and 
David I haven't really got to talk to one-on-one -on -one and Olivia. Everyone else I got a good chat with at least. Um, Haley I was able to talk to on day zero, so um, I'm hoping I can reconnect with her hopefully tomorrow at some point. We'll see. Um, yeah, so we have Carl. Carl's a very interesting character to say the least. I, I like him so far, but I can tell he's here to play the game. I am 99% sure he's come to every person, as many people as possible, in a one-on-one -on -one call or whatnot and said, we're good, man. We're good. You know, I, I got you. And, and just like that, you know, and I'm hamming it up. We're bros. I'm going to do whatever I can. Southern beard. I don't care. I want him on my side because I feel like he's going to be somebody who can have a lot of sway. And so if I actually build some form of a connection with him, I, I won't be in his wrong. Um, the other person I'm worried about is Anthony. Anthony has been a little schemer, I feel like. I feel like he's paranoid, which I, I don't blame him. He's the youngest of the bunch, and that's not too bad. You know, I'm, I'm the second youngest, but I don't look it. He looks the part. That's the problem. And so I feel like he's going to have a hard time connecting with people, so he's trying to fit out in any way he can. And that's his kind of brainiac way. He's, he's like a little weasel, I would say. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him, good kid, but I think he's he's nervous and he's paranoid. And, you know, a lot of people can see that. I, I've, you know, we've talked to people and I'm trying to kind of plant that seed. I don't want to work with him. I don't trust him. Uh, just that's a gut feeling and I tend to trust my gut, so. Um, Katie, I love so much life experience, so many stories. She don't watch Survivor. She don't know what the hell Survivor is. She don't fucking care either. I, I want her on my side because she seems like she'd be somebody who'd be easily influenced. And today, after the challenge, she says, I don't want to join no other calls because I don't want to strategize. And I'm, this is amazing. I, somebody who doesn't want to do strategy, I could literally just walk up to her at the very end of the day, right before the vote and say, hey, vote this way. And she might actually do it. I want that on my side. I want I want to work with her. So I'm hoping to propose, and I kind of did a little bit, I hinted at it at least, to Carl and um, at some point I'll, I'll talk to Katie about it, but I want to have an alliance with Carl and Katie because they're two very polarizing personalities. They're going to rub people the wrong way in a long game. Right now they're kumbaya, they're doing great, they're doing their thing. But I can't imagine a month of Carl and Katie, and I don't think a lot of people want that, which would be perfect for me, because if they're rambling 24-7, that would make me the greatest saint in this game, and I would love to sit next to either of them, or both of them, in a um, Final Reckoning, or... <laughs> it's called I don't remember um, final crossroads uh, last descent I think that's what it is um, so I, I would absolutely love that that's just me throwing that idea out into the universe and hoping that that's something that's just made happen I don't know how it's gonna happen I don't know how the hell that would happen but I want it to happen and I'm going to try to make it happen best of my ability. The only problem is Carl can be a little unpredictable, I feel like. I'm getting that vibe from him, but I feel like I've kind of broed enough with him and southerned it up with him that I can get by with him if I, if I have to, and that he'll at least tell me what he's doing. Shortened game. We only get a couple hours every day to be around each other, and that's a lot different than what I'm used to. I have a lot of org experience, but I'm used to being able to talk to anybody I want at any time. Limiting it to only two hours is very interesting. It really makes, it really puts the pressure on people to be online as well as um, to strategize, you know? if. If you want to talk to somebody, you're going to have to do it in front of everyone. You can't just say, hey, meet me at 6 a.m. in the in the fire chat. Mm -mm. You got you got to do it in front of everybody. And that takes balls to, to have to uh, 
you know, do that in front of people. Kind of expose yourself a little bit, which is a very interesting part of the game. I like it. But as a player, mm, I'm a little frustrated, but, but that's okay. It's no problem. I'm trying to be as active and as present as I can without being too overbearing. I think right now Katie and Carl are being overbearing. I like it. I love it. I love personalities, but I think to other people it could be a little overbearing. Um, I'm there just to kind of give my fun quip every now and then and uh, promote my shop, of course. That's, uh, of course, that's why I'm here. Um, and then, you know, have real genuine conversations with people. So I'm hoping that that side of me pulls through a lot. And I think... Uh, I think I could do really good in this game. I'm, I'm hoping so. Uh, seven minutes in, I'll, I'll cut it off there. <laughs> Last night was great. We won our challenge and I knocked three cups down, but I got credit for two because one fell on the table. But my question coming out of the night one or because one is zero, zero or whatever, but last night when we had the challenges, do we vote out the our best people first? Like, why would we do that? Because, or your weakest people first. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, but I really don't want to vote anyone out because I like everyone. So I hope we keep winning. I like Carl, but I think he's a little overbearing and bossy. So I'm not sure if they're gonna consider that a, um, an advantage for our team or a disadvantage and maybe some people might be afraid of him because he's older and he's like a little rough around the edges so I don't really know I mean he's okay with me but I'm not, I don't understand I'm trying to figure that part out um, and then Anthony's worried about a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm not worried about anything and I'm starting to think well should I be worried about stuff so I don't I don't really know that's why I have Anthony checking things out to tell me because I honestly don't know and I really do like everyone so um yeah I'm just figuring this out and enjoying it by the way along the way I'm enjoying it a lot so I'm looking forward to tonight hi everyone it's Mariana with my day one update video so first off the day began with us finding out what supplies we needed today and ultimately we learned that we were gonna make a slingshot <laughs> so when we first found out or at least when i first found out about the slingshot i'm like oh my gosh i have no idea how to i have no idea how to throw a ball off this thing so before we um before i entered the base camp with our team i'm here practicing like <laughs> i just couldn't get it like i was so nervous i'm like very i'm inside I'm like inside of me I'm so anxious and um, nervous that I'm going to screw this up for my team um, I'm gonna look like a target um, or a weak player so thankfully our team once we got to our base camp we all helped each other we were all teaching each other techniques um, we were all practicing together so our team was actually a really good so yeah team Kelly was good at communicating helping each other out so just like a good team should because when we got to the challenge the a few of the um members of the um janet's team they were asking guys what kind of techniques should we do i'm like and i'm thinking shouldn't you guys have thought about that while you guys had the time to talk with your team so thankfully our team we were helping each other out because it seems like the other team was clueless However, we ultimately lost. And I'm actually surprised that we lost because during the practice round, a lot of the people that um, scored during the practice round didn't score during the actual challenge. Like, I think Neil killed it during our practice round and Bill, but neither of them got anything. And I was just surprised. And Troy, I think, yeah. So I was just surprised that they didn't their luck didn't come through in a challenge, which it, at the end of the day, it's a, you know, how you handle your nervousness at the time of the challenge. But I was just a little bit disappointed that um, the results weren't as good. Um, thankfully, your girl Mariana, she got four. I got four. <laughs> and I got the four on my last try. 
I'm before I hit the third one I'm like thinking if I don't hit this I'm about to be a target because I think at that point I was either the first or second or I could have been the first or second to get a no score so pretty much team Kelly we were winning up until even like when I went like we had we were pretty much in the lead most of the game but then 679 we just saw our 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 win just got out of our hands um I believe Jess couldn't get it Bill couldn't get it Neil didn't get it so unfortunately that's what happened whatever it is what it is but Anyways, so when we went back to the camp, so it was so awkward. It, immediately, myself, Philip, um, Bridget, and Cupini, we all jumped into a room. And we were just thinking, okay, guys, uh, technically none of us should have, none of us should be nominated because we actually gave, we got points for our team. So I'm saying, okay one of the people who didn't score should go home. So obviously the strategy was to figure out, okay, um, who those people are and then what could their strengths be or how could they hold us down in the team moving forward and who would be the best to keep or who would be the best to let go, right? So right away, we mentioned Jess's name it was, it was between Jess or Bambi at the, in the beginning, just based on it, just based on nothing. Pretty much, Bambi either had bad internet connection, or Jess she's moving. She didn't have the supplies. Um, she just didn't seem there. Maybe and we all left the chat, and I went back to the base camp where Jess is. And remember this: me, Jess and I were from Cleveland, right? So I'm feeling bad that I may have to go vote for Jess because I'm thinking I'm gonna work with this girl. We're gonna make to, make it to merge and work together, right? But to be honest, I think it was just better to get rid of Jess at this time because I don't want people to think there is a Cleveland Alliance. So to show that I was able to get rid of a Clevelander will show that, oh, maybe there's there's no chance of a Cleveland Alliance. So technically, it's just Philip and I who may have an alliance, which I feel good with, about him, but I have no clear alliances or anything like that. Also, right now, I feel like I'm in the middle of my team because... Um, Capini um, told me or pretty much voiced his concern about Philip being like this strong player and I'm like yeah yeah sure but honestly I mean he's not wrong like I do need to watch out for him but I mean I think right now Philip is my best ally on this team but yeah it just sucks that people are targeting him because he's just so vocal and then obviously I'm just like jumping around room to room just to see what everyone is thinking. Um, and I even like told Jess like, hey, you should like campaign. Like I'm trying to give her advice. Like people want to, you know, or like I was like alluding, like people want to like know what to base their vote off of, right? And I feel like she was just sitting in the base camp. So another thing that Justin and I spoke about in the base chat so she asked me if I knew anyone in this game and I straight out lied to her. I'm like, no, I don't know anyone in this game. No one to benefit me. I lied to her. I know Danielle, but I'm not going to tell her that. So I'm happy I am going to vote to get rid of her because um, eventually she would have caught me in the lie later, later. So sorry, Jess, but you have to go because I lied to you about knowing Danielle. But yeah, um, unfortunately, um, Jess had to go. It was a sad vote. I mean, like I said, we didn't really base anything. We didn't base it on anything, just on the, on the fact that she's leaving or um, she's moving. So it might just, you know, be a negative thing if we have like a scavenger hunt. She can't find something, or you know. Um. So yeah, and she was a smart player too. She was. She she apparently said she was very trivial and whatnot. Um, or she was good at puzzles and um, physicals. So it was definitely interesting. A lot of good points were made. I think everyone was just kind of shy of what to say. Um, but, and then when the vote happened, so it, yeah, so Bamble only got one um, vote, which was obviously probably from Jess. And I'm just glad it was a unanimous vote because it would have been more stressful it being, you know, 7-2 uh, and everyone would have been like, oh, who was the second vote, right? So thankfully it was unanimous. It was just a simple vote. Unfortunately, just just had to be cut at the time, but great player and yeah. 
but yeah so that was my first day one impressions and we'll see where tomorrow goes and hopefully it's nothing too crazy and i hope i can show that i'm a good player tomorrow so bring it on and yeah i think mariana's doing good no no one's saying my name yet hopefully so yeah talk to you guys tomorrow by the way i learned that it's very important to have like a laptop or a desktop computer for this game because when I was trying to talk to people on my phone, I couldn't see where people were going in what room. So yeah, future advice, just make sure you have a computer to play this game. Another thing on Mariana's tech list is a tripod. Make sure you have a tripod if you are solely re relying on your phone. That helped me with my challenge. So after day one, um, we won the challenge, which was super awesome. Um, I, we got to like talk a lot, which was really cool. I got to meet a lot more of my tri my, um, party mates really got to, um, kind of connect with people that I think I can go long term with. Um, first and foremost, I really like Danielle. I think that her and I actually can work really well together. Um, she came back to me and like wanted to like reconnect with me, um, from, uh, from day zero um, and wanted to kind of solidify that her, that she really likes Olivia and she wants to to keep that intact. So that's three. Then she was like, you know, who else do you like? Like who, who would you want to bring in? Perfect, like I'm down to like kind of drop a few names. So I just mentioned Haley and David and she seemed really good with David and she really wanted to connect with Haley. So she went out and reached out to Haley, who then brought Haley back to me and the three of us were able to bond quite well. I really like Haley. I think that our teacher bond is definitely something important. Um, I think Danielle is making it seem like she's the one that kind of pulled us together and made us a thing. Um, so I'm down, I'm, I'm really happy with kind of the way that all kind of worked out. Um, I think that I plan on working um, more with Haley, um, long term, just in the sense that I just get a really good, like, like safe bot, like feel from her. I, I feel like she's going to be very, very trustworthy. So I'm hoping that I can kind of make a final two with her, but David really, really worked well with me too. We, we, we connected on a very real basis. Like we talked about games and, and how we have very like minds and, and, and all of that. So, um, David surprisingly has kind of become, more my number two in the scheme of like like how I feel about people right now. Um, <laughs> on the other side, Anthony is playing hard already and I don't like it because he's obviously going to be somebody that could potentially end up with an idol or play his um, um, random um, compass thing at crossroads and totally throw the whole game off. So Anthony seems like he basically gave me the whole kitten caboodle, like, Hey, like I want somebody that I, I can trust to like share information with. So I'm going to give him some things. I'm going to, I'm going to talk him up, you know, give him a little bit of info that may not necessarily be hundred percent true. It seems like he's trying to go after Carl, which is really interesting. Cause I really, I like Carl a lot. Um, just seems a little bizarre that that he's dropping Carl's name as somebody that could potentially be be a first boot. I think that Anthony already feels like he is the first boot, which which is already making his game that much more intense um, because he wasn't until um, you know he started kind of going around and talking to people. So I feel really confident that people are kind of willing to vote off Anthony and potentially Katie. Um, I like Katie a lot but I don't think she's necessarily playing game um, as like, I don't trust that she's going to know what she's doing moving forward in the game. Um, like she seems very like innocent and, and, but I, I, she's a poker player. So that, that worries me. And Anthony's doing the same thing. He's kind of saying that, you know, I don't, I don't know this game. I'm not really very familiar with it. I've just recently started watching the, the seasons. And as much as I, I believe it, he also talks about how he's a big brother fan. And so I'm like, 
See, Big Brother really ski me. So I, I just don't trust Anthony. I don't, I don't want to work with him. I'm gonna make him think that I'm working with him, but I'm, I, I don't want to work with him. Um, I did want to reach out to him, but now I'm just like, I'm totally like, just eh, stay away. Um, that leaves Carl and Josh, which I think have a bond. Like I think they're actually connected. So I'm gonna try to see kind of where Josh is at. I didn't get a chance to talk to Josh or Olivia for that matter um, yesterday. So that's one of my priorities is actually to hopefully talk a little bit with Josh and Olivia so that I can kind of solidify some connections there. Because I think Josh and I actually would really get along. I just never had a chance to really be in a, in a room with him and, and, and get some, some discussion going with him. So I'm hoping that we win the challenge, we get much more time to talk, and uh, hopefully I can make some, some real connections. So far, the, the five looks like me, David, Haley, Danielle and Olivia. That's the five that so far I'm, I'm working with. So we'll hope that uh, we'll test that water if we have to go to crossroads. Hopefully we don't have to go to crossroads. Oh, well, day one has come to an end and uh, yeah, unfortunately we went to exemption today and we did not win. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a tough challenge though. Like honestly, it was it was using two forks with a rubber band in between shooting a ping pong ball at a pyramid of um solar cups and <laughs> we practice we practice we practice we would get some lucky shots and we think we're making some progress but honestly it was it was a tough one to do to um to actually do because yeah Half the time, or well, most of the time, I should say, my ping pong ball is just flying everywhere. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, Team Kelly did not win exemption today, and Team Janet did, so congrats to those guys. But um, yeah, that doesn't change the fact that we had to go to Crossroads tonight, and we had to vote out one of our own. Uh, the decision, it at first didn't seem like a very easy decision to make, but um we kind of threw out that you know possibly moving forward that jess may have had a hard time you know with the move you know uh it's, she hasn't got everything unpacked and you know i i know myself that moves are pretty stressful so uh that was honestly the only thing that we could think about for another player you know moving forward trying to keep the party strong but um no the longer when we were back at camp um the you know closer we got to crossroads crossroads um jess had not even left camp at all to try to strategize with anyone i was i was really hoping that she would try to you know come bring some strategy and you know convince us to maybe vote for someone else other than herself but uh unfortunately that is the way it ended up tonight and um yeah I hope that wasn't the wrong decision moving forward but uh yeah tomorrow's challenge i don't know i don't know what we got going on and um hopefully we don't go to crossroads two nights in a row because day one crossroads is a is a tough place to be and um trying to make that decision on voting one of your own out when you no you kind of get along with all your all your um teammates uh but yeah um other than that i feel that bill and i may have had made a bit of a connection uh we did end up in a in a um channel in a room by ourselves and we did kind of express that towards each other where we would like to move you no know, work with each other moving forward and um yeah maybe we could uh try to convince a couple others i'm still trying to get a good vibe from everyone trying to see who we can trust um but yeah i i think i think moving forward with bill having each other's back would be a good place to start and maybe we can find a couple others that we can you know get together and form our own alliance within the alliance um but yeah i think that's it moving forward So night two went really well. Um, my biggest worry is always being first boot. Nobody wants to be first boot. So I'm just really glad that we were able to kick ass in that challenge and win. 
even though like I wasn't super happy with like my individual performance like at least I didn't get a zero like a bunch of other people did um and I really wasn't expecting to win either because I felt like I generally don't have very good luck in games but I'm just glad that I made it past the first day um in terms of like who I'm feeling good about I don't really think besides obviously Carl I don't really think there's any like one person that I'm super super close with um yet but I do feel like a general good vibe from everybody and I was getting nervous because like if we did end up going to crossroads today I had I would have had no idea who was going to go and like in that case I always assume it's me because then I feel like people are like plotting behind my back and just like not telling me things um because I really hadn't heard any names and I think people are just very paranoid to be the first person to say someone's name um because then that puts a target on their back so all through tonight I was sort of waiting for somebody to say a name just so that I had like some sort of idea of where the vote would go because I always prepare to lose because I'm very pessimistic because I tend to be very unlucky um and then I was really grateful when about literally with like 10 minutes left to go before lights out Danielle pulled me into a room and she was like hey I think that me and Mike were talking and we feel really good about you from our conversation from yesterday and then David and Haley um, and the three of us could be a strong five together and I think that I was shocked to hear it because like it was coming out of nowhere and she was telling me that with 10 minutes to go um, and I'm like so down for Majority Alliance. I even think it's better that Carl isn't involved because I don't want anyone to associate the two of us together and think that like we have any sort of relationship at all. Um, and like obviously I'm I'm going to make sure that that alliance never targets Carl um, in the beginning. But um, I definitely think that like him not being included in the five is good for now. Um, and then Danielle was talking about like possibly Anthony for an easy first vote because he's been kind of doing some shady stuff like he seems to be someone that would know a lot about the game and like is trying to make alliances and like put targets on people but claims he has no idea what's going on because he's never seen Survivor before which I really don't believe like I don't understand how people could apply to a Survivor game without ever even like knowing the basic premise of Survivor it's just very strange to me. But, yeah, I definitely think that Anthony could be an easy first vote. I mean, I do really like him personally. He seems really nice. We haven't gotten time to talk one-on-one, -on -one, really. I mean, it's hard to kind of talk to anyone one-on-one -on -one in this format. But I'm just glad that I have sort of a better picture of what the tribe dynamics are like and who could potentially be a target if we go to Crossroads. Um, I also feel like I'm pulling off the, like, quiet, sweet, innocent girl act really well because Katie made a comment about that, um, in one of the, the group rooms. Um, I definitely just want to seem like a very likable person, like, not a threat at all, not someone who's, like, plotting and, like, making alliances and stuff, and then I just want to lay low in the beginning and then start making my big moves, like, closer to merge. So, yeah, feeling good about the game and excited for tomorrow. All right, so I wasn't the first one voted out, so that was a sigh of relief. Um, I think my biggest fear of coming in this game was coming in and losing and being voted out first. So, again, we lost the challenge today, but I um, felt like I handled myself. I did pretty well um, and had a lot of time, I think, to form some really good connections. Um, I think uh, Cupini is probably my number one. We bonded over cheese curds today, as Midwesterners do. Um, and then I think Mariana, Bill, and, um, and Neil, we all, I feel like, again, it's nothing that's official we haven't talked it through, but I feel like we've kind of started to form that bond, um, and that kind of connection. Um, and so, you know, I feel like this is a really good group and I feel like we have a good core of, you know, five or six people that hopefully we can, can take here through the next few days. And, you know, uh, a little nervous about tomorrow's challenge because there's no supplies, so I'm not great at puzzles. Um, so I feel like it's going to be puzzles or trivia or something like that. So, um, you know, just got to give it my, give it my all and, you know, hopefully I make it through to day three. It's one day at a time.